Right? Everybody good? Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, how will I find the green radius? The green radius would be this. Correct? Yeah. Right? Okay. How am I going to find it? Well, we know that, oh, we know that this part of the circle is green. <coughs> What's this? It's another triangle. It's six. I, we know it's six. I told you it was six. Why? You didn't know that at the beginning. That's what you were supposed to find. Oh, we already know because it's up there on the other triangle. What other triangle? You know this is three, so you know, so you know, you can't do that, Luke. Just because it looks like it's half doesn't mean that it's half. Okay? Watch. Let me show you what I mean on in a different state. Son of a bee. Who's got a protractor? One of you is carrying a protractor. What's a protractor? It's a semicircle that measures stuff. It measures degrees. Nobody has a protractor. Amy, you have a... Olivia, you guys have pencil case. You're not carrying a protractor? No. Neither one of you? Harmon, you got a whole backpack. Yeah. No protractor? Yeah, I knew somebody. If, uh, I knew it. Thank you, Harmon. Observe why you are wrong, Luke. Damn it. How long is the hypotenuse? It is. No, no, no. Just tell me what you would do to find the hypotenuse. All right. Um, 64 plus 49 and that's square root. No. Okay. Because that's a 91 degree. Ah. What does that work with? Only 90 degrees. So why did you try 90 degrees? Because it looked like it. So, I'll ask again. What do I know about those two angles? Or those two green sides right now? Uh, we know that the one on the left is 6 because it's an equilateral triangle. That one green you know that this is 6. Absolutely smurfly correct. Excellent. Well done. What else do you know? Do you know this line? It's three. If I draw that line, what is this line? Three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right? What angle did I make there? Um, I don't know. Yes, you do. I went straight and cut something in half. 90. So now I have a 90 degree triangle with 3 and 3. Can I find that? Oh, thank you. It's 6 root 3. Yes. Luke was yelling that it was 6 earlier. So this is all 6 root 3. So what's this? <laughs> 3 root 3. Correct? Right? Because we know it's 3 root 3 from right here, right? Everybody with me? So now I have a right angle triangle that is 3 and 3 root 3, correct? Okay. Right? Uh, yes. 
And then the third side is this green side right here, yeah? What do I use to find that? Pythagoras. Pythagoras. So this is 3 squared plus 3 root 3 squared. And then I square root the whole thing, right? Well, you got rid of that square. What's 3 squared? 1 root 3. 9. Oh. 3 well, squared. No. <laughs> and what's this one? You do know what 3 root 3 times 3 root 3 is. 3 times 3 is 9. Root 3 times root 3 is 9. Root of 9 is 3, so that's 9 plus 27. Yes? What is 9 plus 27? What is the root of 36? 6. So what is my green radius? 6. Right? Stay cool, Luke. Stay gold, pony boy. You'll be fine. It's from the outsiders. All right. Now that you have seen a method to solving these, you should have a better chance at this one. Go, diddly o. Oh. You know the red radius. Luke is going crazy. Relax, brother. A slice of paper. That's funny. But you, but it wasn't one root three. It was just three squared. Oh. It was three. He did. That was nice of him. Stephen. Of course you could be. As a matter of fact, these are the questions you should be being tested on because this gets you to apply knowledge. These are good math questions. And should not my best and brightest students in the whole school be able to figure them out? You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Why am I here? Every one of you chose to be here. You did course planning last year. I'm partially here because they'll kick me out of the school if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you still chose to be here. Yeah. It's not that I can't do it sometimes, but I don't know. I I will say this one is way harder. Oh, great. <laughs> it's, we got to reverse it. I'm, I'm drawing a circle in the middle there, and I'm just going to like... What's that? I'm making another circle. Dude, I said that they're equilateral, so they're 60, 60, 60. And it would be 51, 59, 59 to be off by one minute. Or it could have been 60 degrees one minute. Amy, that was very profound. 
It's the same thing. You just have to think. Well done, Amy. Oh, oh. guys are awesome. I love my job. <laughs> you know you're only referring to one person. No, I'm referring to all of you. You're all awesome. Boy, selfish much? Do we have an answer yet? I'm trying to apply my knowledge. Apply that knowledge, Luke. That's the stuff. That's what a teacher loves to hear. Three favorite words. Apply my knowledge. This is group three. This is group two. This is one. Oh, this is Oh, yeah, it's Okay, are we ready? (laughs) 
No, I don't hit my face. No. This is when I wish Mr. Como would walk by and see my pre-diploma math 10 class <laughs> acting like seals. Or, 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 or. What I think is funny is how hard everyone's trying to learn to do that and how little everyone's trying to learn to do math. I didn't know. All right. Okay. Yep. Now, because you've just done the first one, right? You know some stuff about equilateral circle or equilateral triangles and circles, right? You know there's some proportions there, yeah? So you can apply that knowledge, but you don't need to, right? So let's just take a moment. I'm going to draw two lines on here, okay? I'm going to draw them in a weird color. I'm going to draw them in this... Uh, is that visible? Not really. I'm going to draw them in purple. That's visible. Okay, now, watch. What is that distance? Five. five. So now I'm going to draw it down here. That's five, correct? Everyone agree? Okay. What angle did I just make? 90. Is everyone cool? So there's a 90, right? Then I make that line right there, correct? What does that line do to this 60 degrees? Half it. So I make that line, and there is my 30. Is everyone cool? Okay. Now, if that's 5, this must be root 3 times 5, right? So this is 5 root 3, and this must be 2 times 5, which is what? 10. So there is 10, 5 root 3, and 5. Now, this line here does what? to the whole green line. Cuts it in half. Cuts it in half, because it's the exact same triangle here, yes? So if this is 5 root 3, and this is 5 root 3, how long is the whole thing? 10 root 3, because I got 5 root 3s there, and I got 5 root 3s there, yes? I did that, I tried to do it on the little triangle. Right, is everybody good? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna erase the purple, Okay, now, observe. I'm going to use... I thought we had to find the sideline for the blue one, too. We do. Okay. Now I'm going to use yellow. Yellow. Pull it away. Ooh. Yeah. Eh, that'll do. How long is that? Wait a minute. Five, because it's a radius of the red circle, yes? Agreed? Yeah. Okay. Now, I got to go where? You got to make a 90 degree by going back to the corner. Which corner? The one to the left. The, the corner blue. to the left of the blue yeah. triangle? Because that's also five. And you can make a 90. I'm sorry, what? No, he's fine. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I did, the, I did that poorly. Let's do this. How long is that? Because we're trying to work in the blue triangle now, right? So how long is that? Five. And if I go out to here, what did I make? 90 there, which means this is? 30. And here's my 60, yes? That's horrible. Five, ninety, thirty, sixty. Yes? 
Everyone agree? Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If that's 5, what's this? 2.5 or 5 halves, right? Everyone agree? Is everyone cool with that? Everybody? Okay. Now, this is a Pythagorean triangle, yes? Which means that side, 5 squared, plus that side, 5 halves squared, square root that whole thing will give me this, won't it? Right? Which is this right here, right? Once I know this, I just got to double it, correct? So let's do so. What is 5 squared? 25 plus 5 over 2 squared is 25 over 4, correct? Everyone agree? It'll show up in a sec. Does everyone agree? Okay. So now, what can I do there? How do I add that up? You need to give it a common denominator. Which is what? Which is, would be four, so it'll be 100 over 4 plus 4. So it'll be 100 plus 25 over 4, correct? That's 125 over 4. So I need the root of 125 over 4. Now, everything under here gets square rooted, yes? So I have the square root of 125 over the square root of 4, correct? Everyone agree? What's the square root of 4? Square root of 125? It's crazy number. No, it's 5 times 25. What's the square root of 25? 5? So what comes out? 5 root 5 over 2, correct? And how many of them are there? Two of them. Correct? Everyone agree? What happens to those two twos? What's left? So what's the answer? Okay. Let's do it another way. This applies to everything we've learned from our math careers. I know. It's just how to apply it that confuses the hell out of everyone. Especially like right Okay. Can we move on? Uh, is this is this gonna be what math is now? No. Okay, yes. Can we move on to our last lesson on radicals? Which is what? Dividing them. Dividing, them. Dividing them. Now, I owe you... Oh, it's not quite quiz time yet. All right. Just quickly to remind you, math or addition and subtraction are related because they are what? Why? <laughs> Luke's an ostrich. You can't see me. I am not here. Why are addition and subtraction related? Pardon me? They're inverse operations, right? Subtraction doesn't actually exist, does it? It's adding negative numbers. So if addition and subtraction are related due to the inverse nature of their operation, what are the other two maths that must be related? Multiplying, Multiplying and dividing, right? So since they're related, we can use the same rules to apply to them, all right? If I was going to multiply two radicals, 3 root 2 times 2 root 3, what 
do I do? I multiply the coefficient times the coefficient to get what? Six. Six. Root. Then I multiply the radicand by the radicand to get what? Six. Six. And that's my answer. There's a couple of rules that we need to follow, though. What is, actually, there's really only one rule. What is the only thing I need to know about multiplying radicals? There has to be something that, a condition that is satisfied. What is it? Yes, they do, Harmon, but first we're going to talk to the Vaisaki people. You need her? Yeah. Like, life won't go on without her? Yeah. yeah. Or do you just want her? No, we just need her. Yeah. You need her? Yeah. Like, air and water don't need. Don't it. Just don't. We just need your pins. Can't keep oh. pins. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go and help them. I can't believe 13 weeks in, you people think I'm being serious with things like that. <laughs> Luke knows. Can't you see? That's why he's got his face covered like a Padawan. He's had a tough go. <laughs> like a what? <laughs> Never mind. It was a geek check. It, it isn't. Well, it... Never mind. Um... Harmon, what had to be the same? The index. the index. As long as the index are the same, we can do this, correct? So logically, if I had x root y over a root b, what would the logical thing be to do with that? When we multiply, we did 3 times 2, and then 2 radicand times radicand. So what would the logical thing be to do here? X divided by A, root Y divided by B. Right? That just makes sense. That's applying previous knowledge. Correct? All right. And that is indeed what we do. So what do I do here? I divide 18 by 3, which is, that is technically the root of 18 divided by 3, which is the root of... <laughs> what was that? Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, yeah? Okay, now, my X didn't print here, did yours? No, put the X in there. Using all of your prior knowledge, try to solve B without me. I'm turning off the screen. Talk to your neighbor. Do what you need to do. Okay, logically... Logically, what should you do there? Divide. divide. What is 15 divided by 3? Five. 5. Root. Logically, what should you do there? Divide. Divide. What's 15 divided by 3? 5. 5. What's x cubed divided by x? x squared. x squared. What's y squared divided by y? y? Y. How many people stopped there? What is the last step? Bring out the x. 5x root 5y. Why? Because we simplify. Simplify, simplify. Whenever we can. Is everybody good? Everyone is good? All right. Now, try this one. C. Does it matter what order we simplify in? Uh, 
I'm going to say no because I don't understand why you would be asking that. Use your brains. You know what to do. What is the answer? What do you do with that and that? Divide. Can you divide it? No. So it's four thirds. What do you do with that and that? Which is root four. What is the root of four? So what comes out? What's two times four thirds? Eight thirds. Yeah. Oh, I see what you were trying to do. Yeah. What if I made this guy root three? Then it would be four thirds root what? Eight. What is eight? Four times two. What comes out? Two. So it would be eight over three root two. How would we write that neatly? What is the official denominator here? One. Over one. What's eight times root two and three times one? Eight root two over three. Is everybody good to there? Kind of. Divide the coefficients, divide the radicals, simplify. Can everybody do that? That is level one. Uh -oh. Oh. Wow. Now you may have enough experience points to attempt leveling up to level two. Uh, I need to complete some side missions first. You probably need to do some side missions first. All right. Radicals. Radical, the nature of radical states that we cannot divide by a radical. We can't do it. All right? So the first example I gave you was root 18 over root 3. We can't leave it that way because dividing by a radical is not okay. So we simplify it to be root six, correct? We already know how to do that, right? And that is root six technically over one. Dividing by one's okay. Everybody's good with that, right? All right. Now, the next level I gave you was four root 20 over three root four. And that became four root five over three. Right? Everyone's okay with that? 20 divided by 4 is root 5. 4 over 3, 4 over 3. Everyone's good with that? Yeah. Why is that okay? Because I'm dividing by an integer. Everybody is good? Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, we are not allowed to do this. This is what we already know. What isn't allowed is this, 6 root 10 over root 5, no, root 5, duh, over root 3. What about that makes it not allowed? Luke. There's no simplifying I can do to get rid of that radical in the denominator, is there? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not allowed because does the root of three actually exist? It's not imaginary, it's irrational. 
So there is no way we could divide this by something that never ends, is there? So this is not allowed because that is irrational. Since I'm not allowed to leave it that way, I have to fix it up. What could I do? What in this denominator makes it not okay? Is it the three or is it the radical sign? The radical. It's the radical sign because we already know I'm allowed to have three as a denominator. Yeah. So what do I do to get rid of a square root? Ooh. What do I do? I square it. Everyone agree? So if I multiply this by root 3, what is my denominator going to be? It's going to be the root of 9, which is 3. Everyone agree? Just wait. Does everyone see what I did there? Now, if I multiply this by anything other than 1, will that value change? Yeah. yeah, it will, won't it? I've multiplied it by root 3. How do I make this equal 1? I make the top root 3. Now this is 1, isn't it? I'm getting to that. This is 1, isn't it? If I multiply something by 1, does it change its value? No. So is this allowed? Excellent. Now, think back to the very last lesson. Here I have 6 root 10 times root 3. What do I do with the coefficients? Multiply them. What are the coefficients? So what is the coefficient in the answer? Six. What do I do with the radicands? Multiply them. Six root 30. What's the last step in every single question we ever do from here till the end of our math careers? Simplify. Does root 30 simplify? No. Two times three times five. It doesn't. But does that yeah. to what? 2 root 30. And now I'm in good shape. Does everyone understand? I don't understand how the root 3 gets on the top. Is that just happens to the Because I'm multiplying by 1. I needed to multiply by root 3 in the denominator to get rid of that root 3. Okay. So to make that 1, it has to be the same on the top and the bottom. No, you have to shove that number in. Yeah. Is everybody good? Now use your brains. What if this, at the end of it all, did not divide here? How would you leave it written? No, you can't leave it that way. Just like that. See how they didn't divide? So I just leave them. Is everybody cool? Yeah? Okay. Now, I did a very poor job on this page. I did not leave enough room for notes. This section here, block it off. And come over to here. We're going to do some work here. Okay? Just to make sure we're going to do one like we just did. Uh, we're going to go... 5 root 7 over root 6. What would you do with that? What about that don't you like? And then how do you make it so it's something you do like? So what is my new denominator? It's 
Square root of 36, root 36, which equals 6. And 5 root what? 42. 6 times 7. I'm doing the steps because we're teaching, yes. which is 5 root 42. Does any of that simplify? Do 5 and 6 simplify? No. Does root 42 simplify? The 2 times 3 times 7. Any pairs? So we're done. Can everybody do that? Every single one of you? This is called rationalizing the denominator. And we have to do it because we are not allowed an irrational in the denominator. Okay? Everybody good? Is everybody good? Going once. Going twice. Going thrice. Okay. Now, don't turn the page over. We still have this whole corner to deal with. What happens if I expand that? We've already done polynomial multiplication, this uh, unit. I reminded you how to do it. What happens when I expand that? What do I do with the two X's? Oh, you combine like factors. Is that what we're getting? What do I do there? X squared. What do I do there? Negative 4X. What do I do there? Positive 4X. What do I do there? Negative 16. What do you notice happens right there? They fall out and disappear. Right? Because negative 4 plus 4 is 0. And I get x squared minus 16. Everybody remembers that, right? Okay. These are what we call conjugates. Describe to me the only difference. What is the difference between those two factors? The positive and the negative, right? And what did that conjugate allow me to do? It allowed me to get rid of the middle term, correct? You all already know this. You just didn't know the name for it. Everybody agree? Okay. Now, the shortcut here, because we know in conjugates this middle term is going to fall out, right? We know that it's the first term times the second term, x squared, and the second term times the fourth term, 16, right? And that makes the middle term disappear, correct? What then would the conjugate here be? This is not a trick question. What made this the conjugate of this? What did I have to multiply this by to get a middle term to drop out? I know it's Friday, ladies and gentlemen, but come on. We just asked this question. What is the difference here? One is positive, one is negative. That makes them conjugates. So what is this one? Look where the circle is. Negative. So what must its conjugate be? So it must be root 17 plus 3 root 14. Correct? Now, if I showed you this, is that expression allowed? No, because I cannot combine seven, root 17 and 14, and I'm not allowed a rationals on the bottom, correct? So I know I got to multiply that 
by something that's going to get rid of the roots. Um, 17 minus 3. Root 17. That won't work. Plus 3 root 14. Because I need that plus there to make the middle drop out. Now, just like in polynomials, I first one and I multiply by the first one and I get x squared. Take the first one, multiply by the first one. What do I get? Root 17 squared, which is? 17. 17. Minus 3 root 14 and 3 root 14. That is going to be 9 root 14 squared, correct? What is the root of 14 squared? 17 minus 9 times 14, which would be 17 minus 126. Does everybody see what happened there? By multiplying by the conjugate, I made both square roots disappear. If I multiply by the same thing, does that middle term drop out? No. So I would be left with a, radi a radical on the bottom, wouldn't I? Is that allowed? No. So I must multiply by the conjugate. What is the conjugate here? Root 34 minus 4 root 2 to get rid of my radicals. What is the conjugate here to get rid of my radical? Do I need the negative? To get rid of root 5, do I need the negative? It's just root 5. Is everybody cool? Yeah? Yeah? So now you know how to get rid of the radicals in the denominator when it's a single radical. Now you know how to do it when it's a double radical, right? Let's apply. Now turn the page over. What's wrong with A? What's wrong with A? Don't do it yet. Talk. This is your guys' biggest mistake. You start doing stuff without a plan. What is wrong with A? There's a root 7 on the bottom. Am I allowed root 7 on the bottom? Am I allowed 3 on the bottom? Yes. So the only thing I need to get rid of here is root 7, correct? So what must I multiply by to get rid of root 7? Root 7. Now, if I multiply by... 1 over root 7, that changes the value. So what goes up here? Root 7. Root 7, and now I multiply. What is the top? 2 root 42. 2 root, and I'm going to write it all the way out because we're practicing, 2 root 42, correct? What is the bottom? 3 root 49, which is? What is root 49? 7, what is 3 times 7? 21. 21. Do those numbers simplify? 2 and 21. No. So am I done? Yes. What's our takeaway from this? Monomial denominators... only need to be rationalized with the radical. You only need to use the radical. Everybody cool? So what would this be? What's not allowed in this guy? Just root 6. So I only need to get rid of root 6. So what do I multiply by? Root 6 over root 6. Can I omit the middle step now? Are we at that level of understanding? So this would be 7 root 30, correct? Over 14 
times six, yes? Because six times root six times root six is six, right? So that is seven root 30 over 14 times six is 84, yes? Is there any simplifying to do there? Seven and 84, why? How many times seven go into seven? Once, root 30. How many times seven go into 84? 12, done. Is everybody Gouda? Yeah? Okay, what's my favorite word in mathematics? Simplify. Look at C, what will you do first? Simplify, what is six root 50? Isn't that 25 times two? So what is it? 30 root two, agreed? What is root 18? Nine times two, so what comes out? 15 root two. What is 30 divided by 15? Two. What is root two divided by root two? Nothing. One. So what's the answer? Two. Right? Well, wouldn't two and two cancel each other out anyway? They did. Two to root two divided by root two is one. So we don't write it because two times one is still two. Everybody good? So did I need to rationalize the denominator there? Once I simplified, did I need to rationalize? No, because no, it took care of itself. But if you are only learning steps and not learning math, don't write down what I'm about to write down. You all, son of a bee! Finish page 132. That's your homework.